What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing extremely well. Now, if you're looking to build a custom bike and or upgrade an existing bike, oh, it is windy, I hope you guys can hear me. One of your best suppliers that you can buy essentially any part you need from, and it's going to be high quality, is Grin Technologies. Let me just say right off the bat that I'm not affiliated with them. Uh, I did reach out and try to work with them in the past, but they just said no. So unfortunately for me, I'm not being paid to say this, but I have used their products for two builds before, including this build right here. Let me pull over on this very sketchy high-speed road. So on this build, ugh, I upgraded this to 72 volts. This was just a 750 watt. 48 volt bike when I got it, but I upgraded the batteries to 72 volts and I used a Grin Technologies phase runner controller to hook them up to the motor. And this controller is easily one of the best in the market if you want to build or upgrade a bike. And I'm, I'm good. <laughs> what, you mean people don't normally stop on the side of the road and talk about their bike? But the controller here, first of all, it's very tiny, uh, a continuous current of 45 amps, and you can use it with any motor. This is not from Grin Technologies. There's no guarantee that third-party motors will work with the controller, but from my experience, as long as the connector is the same, the software has like an auto-detect feature, and usually it can it can be compatible. But the whole reason why I didn't upgrade the motor on this bike, for the longest time, Grin Technologies didn't have a hub motor that was compatible with fat bikes. And that's a real shame because the motors from Grin Technologies, they're not the off the shelf cheap Chinese motors that you can get at a thousand different online retailers. In case you don't know, Grin Technologies is a, a small company located in Canada and they customize their motors and I think really all their parts in house. I love how you can really tell that this company is composed of e-bike enthusiasts because the things that they tweak, modify and improve are things that only enthusiasts would know about. For example, all of their motors are, uh, are compatible with regen, even the geared motors. They have an option to weld the clutch so that way they could produce a regen current. And they also have super over-engineered torque arms to ensure that your motor is securely fastened to your bike. And the coolest motor by far from this company has to be their all-axle hub motor. So this is a direct drive hub motor, nice and powerful. There's also a port, there's another modification they do to it, but there's a port to insert Staterade, which is basically a coolant that allows you to push the motor even harder. Uh, again, these people are enthusiasts and they make products for other enthusiasts, something that I just love about this small Canadian company. But the real special thing about this all axle motor is in the name, it's not just compatible with the old fashioned dropouts like literally every other hub motor on the market, but you can use this to compatible with through axles. If I stop here, I can show you what a through axle is because my bike on the front here utilizes this much better uh, axle. And you can see it right here. These are through axles. So if you have this newer, just all around better axle design on your bike, with this all axle hub motor, you can still install a hub motor, which is awesome. But unfortunately it still wasn't compatible with fat bikes, only regular thinner street bikes. But that just changed. The company announced a new version three and there is a fat bike variant. And a nice side effect of having just the motor be wider and bigger is that it produces more power. So I think they said in their launch video it has 50% more torque simply because the magnets in the stator are close to double as wide. So guys, I gotta say, again, this is not sponsored by Grin Technologies. It's just my honest opinion. If you're looking for a motor, for either a new bike build or to upgrade an existing bike that has uh, you know, a Bafang geared 750 watt motor, this is it. It's compatible with every axle type and there's a fat bike version. Being that this is a direct drive hub motor, it's gonna be a nice upgrade in power over traditional geared hub motors. It's compatible with Staterade, which is that coolant that gives you even better performance. And of course it has regen abilities, being that it's from Grin Technologies and it's a direct drive hub motor. The only downside is that the motor is 
somewhat expensive. And that's because this is not a mass-produced Chinese generic hub motor. This is handmade in Canada by enthusiasts. So considering that, plus the fact that this is actually better than those generic Chinese hub motors, I think that does justify the above average price tag because it's an above average product. And if you guys want to see this motor tested and reviewed in house, let me know because I do think it'll be the perfect upgrade for this bike. I already have the dual 72 volt batteries, the phase runner controller, and the the stock motor here, it's pretty capable. It's a Hentac geared hub motor, which is nominal 750 watts. And it's been handling the extra power just fine, but this direct drive motor from Green Technologies will be more powerful. The magnets and the diameter, the stator are both just bigger. And it will finally give me regen, which is a feature that I really like on bikes. Of course, it puts a little bit of juice back into your battery, but it also just saves your brake pads and decreases maintenance. And along with this motor, they did release a new wiring harness that would enable you to have a separate regen throttle. So much like with my Solar Eclipse, I could have a thumb throttle next to the twist throttle that controls the stopping. And that's a feature I've been really enjoying on my Solar Eclipse. So I could finally, with these new products, both this cabling harness and the motor itself, I could have that feature on this bike. So definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments below of this motor. I mean, is it not the perfect hub motor? And to quickly touch on the whole like mid-drive and hub motor debate, I've, I've made my opinion clear before as somebody that's used every type of motor on the market. I prefer direct drive hub motors. There's no drivetrain, there's no maintenance to worry about. Recently with my Solar Eclipse, which has that powerful mid-drive motor, it's super torquey, but the chain fell off and it was a whole thing. I had to pull over on the side of the road, get some tools out, fix the chain. And that never happens with hub motors. The only negative of hub motors is the reduced torque in comparison to a mid-drive that has the advantage of gearing. And even so, you can still overcome this just by increasing the power. You can get more torque that way. And this V3 all-axle hub from Green Technologies, especially the fat bike version that has a, a wider stator, bigger magnets, should have a ton of power, much more so than regular geared hub motors from say Bethang, which are physically a lot smaller. I was checking the info diagram on their website and this motor has a diameter of eight inches. So it's a fairly large motor. And you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, because this is an all axle design, if I wanted to, I could buy two of them and make this bike a dual motor configuration. Because again, I have regular dropouts in the back and the through axle up front. But again, with this motor, it's, it's compatible with both. So I'll go ahead and leave the product page below the video. Again, unfortunately, I'm not sponsored by this company. It sounds like I am, but trust me, at least as of right now, I am not. So do me a favor, if you guys enjoyed and found this video useful, go ahead and leave the video a like, subscribe, it does help out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.